Okay, this is 9.1 Interference of Waves, and this is a really short lesson class, but it introduces you to the idea of sound waves interacting with each other. And that's what this whole chapter is about. Okay, so when two sound waves hit each other, and what happens? We have this idea called interference. And interference is when a new wave is created when two waves meet. Whenever two waves meet, they will add together, they will interfere to create a new wave. And you can see in this picture here, if we have these waves that are moving along, um, each one of these waves has some sort of circular motion going on, and we're not going to talk too much about how that happens, these waves, but in the water, these waves have this circular motion. You can see that these waves are moving to the right this way, so we have this going to the right. And if we have another wave coming from the left that looks the same, when they add together, they will interfere, and you see that we get a larger wave that goes straight up, straight down, none of this circular motion because the two circular motions have cancelled out. And again, that's just an example so you can see what's happening. That's the two waves interfering. When they interfere, we can figure out the result. We can figure out how they interfere by using the principle of superposition. And this says that when two waves meet, the amplitude is the sum of the individual amplitudes of the two individual amplitudes. So they actually just add up. You can take each point and add them together. When you lay your two waves on top of each other, you can just add each point together to get the result. We'll see that below. Um, we have two types of interference constructive interference and destructive interference. This is the first one here, constructive, and destructive is just down here. So constructive interference, this is where two waves add together to make a larger wave. And so you can see in the picture below, we have two waves Notice this is just a wave, it's just um, a little bit of a bump on the string, and it's moving to the right. And we have a second wave, a larger bump on the string, moving to the left. They're moving towards each other. When they reach each other, they add together, because they're both in this positive direction. So you can see that here's the first wave, and this is where it starts overlapping with the second wave. And they add together that way. When they're fully on top of each other, so if my original waves were like this, and like this, those were my original waves. They've, they're on directly on top of each other now. You can see that the result when you add those two together is this even larger wave. And then they start moving past each other. So you can see we have our, our um, larger of the two waves, our smaller of our two waves, and here's where they're sort of added together is in this section. And they're moving away from each other now. And then they've fully passed. They haven't changed size or shape at all. They look the way they did originally. They've passed each other, and they, they keep their shape now. So that's our constructive interference. The same idea with destructive interference, but this is when two waves add to make a smaller wave. And you can see it's the same picture below. We have our large positive wave and our small negative wave. And this is what makes it destructive, because they're one is on top and the other one is on bottom. So you can see that when they get to each other, well, they've almost reached each other now. At this point, we had our original wave and our original negative wave. And you can see that they add up to get this guy in the middle. And again, they've passed each other. They keep on moving in the direction they were going. They've passed right by each other in this case. OK, that's our destructive interference. There's one last little idea here, which is um, a really cool use of this idea of destructive interference, which is noise-canceling headphones. And these cancel, cancel outside noise 
using destructive interference. What happens is that you're listening to some music on your headphones, and the headphones have a microphone so they can pick up sound outside of them, outside of the, the headphones. So they can hear the noise in the room, they pick up that noise, and then they create another wave that's opposite that noise. And so there's a picture to the right here of, of this happening. So you can see the noise is being created by the external source that's coming in this direction, and your headphones create a similar wave that's entirely opposite, just flipped vertically. And you get the result here, you can see if that's the noise and that's the cancel, the result will be zero along there. Noise, cancel, you'll get just a flat line. And that's how it works. It, it fully cancels out the, other, the outside noise. So it's cool, it, it sounds silent when you're listening to, to stuff on there, except for your music. And the benefit here is you can listen at lower levels to your music which will do less damage to your ears. Okay, and there's one little example here at the bottom. It says these two waveforms are about to interfere, interfere with each other. Draw the resultant waveform. Well, what we have is, if I call this T0, this is the first time window, and I'll draw three more. So here's T1. And this is when the waves meet. And this is, if you're, if you're solving this sort of a problem, this is the way I would recommend approaching it. So, um, so at this point here, the waves are going to meet. So I've got my original waveform is this square. And then you can see that the, the other one is this negative waveform and this is so the edges are just touching now. So this is when the two waves have met, have met. And if I have them fully overlapping in the next window, this is T2, fully overlap. Well, you can see that um, if I have my original box, it was too high. And this one goes down by two. And there are one, two, three, four across, one, two, three, four across. So you can see that if I add this negative, if they're sitting right on top of each other at the same point on the, on the string or whatever, then you can see that the positive two here will cancel out with the negative two, so we'll get a zero. And over here, we still have a positive two, but we don't have quite as negative a value, so it'll be up a bit. Whereas all the way at the end here on the right, the, the negative waveform is at zero. The other one is still at positive 2, so you see that we get a, a shape that looks fully like that. So, starts at 0, goes up to positive 2, and then it, it ends. So this is when they're fully overlapping, and our last window here will be when they, uh, T3, when they have passed each other. And it looks like this. We've got our negative waveform. It has fully passed the other waveform. So that guy is traveling still to the left, and our positive one continues traveling to the right. Okay, so um, you've got a, a homework question or two that asks you to do those. Give it a try and see how you do. That's the end of the lesson.